Hello, everybody, and welcome to season seven of Egyptology. And we are here in my little area. As you might be able to tell, we in amplified terrain. Like, look at that. All this glorious, janky terrain that I have totally not died a lot from. Uh, I don't know where you would ever get that idea. But we are here at my little area again. And I have been hard at work expanding this and getting fully enchanted gear. It's not the best gear. And yeah. Now, I do have footage from the start of the season, but most of it I either A, didn't turn my mic on, or B, it was too quiet to use and there was like no reason, or like it was just not here, so I'm just going to re-narrate over it. But yeah, let me re replay that footage. On the first day of the season, I was in a group with Ruben and Mr. Bonesaw, or Bonesaw, and we were just exploring around the world, and we stumbled across the village, and they decided they were going to stay, and so I stayed and helped them, and I made a villager breeder for them to use, since <laughs> experience, but I didn't really want to do the villager grind as, and as you can see the villager breeders up and running it was working fine whatever whatever we got lucky with potatoes but I was looking for a more specific place to base down and there was actually one just over to the more like I think east of this area and so I decided I was going to go over there what's also nice is it also had a skeleton spawner like right next to the surface so it was like a great source for early XP and early bones and early uh, bows and arrows and all that fun stuff. I ended up converting it to a stray farm just because it's better that way, I think, because there's a slowness. Woo. Plus, you get stray heads as well, which is nice. But, so I decided to go over there, and before I did that, I decided to go around and try to find all the wood types since we only had oak, birch, and jungle so i had it went out got spruce got dark oak and got mangrove unfortunately i lost a bunch of that which is sad i wish i did have it because it involved me falling and dying a couple times woo most of the time i was able to get my stuff back then uh then yeah then i just started building cow or I built pens to hold cows in, and I built wheat fields to breed the cows, and I built potato fields to feed myself, and all that fun stuff. And why, if you're wondering why I'm doing cows this season, it's because, or as I say, more organic wheat to progress through the early game. Is I, I've done the villager grind, where you start out with villagers, and you use villagers to get all the max chance, all everything, everything, within like the first day. Like you, if you do it right, you can have max of everything day one. And I, I've done that the last like couple seasons. I think since season four, I think, or maybe season three. And I was kind of getting done. I, I've done it. It was getting repetitive. So I decided, you know, what, I'm going to do it more organically. So I did it this way. And as you guys saw, I had pretty decent year-ish I got feather falling on my boots and I got uh, respiration on my helmet so it's pretty good pretty good and so where I kind of ended it off was getting a full enchanting setup and AFK at my sugar cane farm and then that's really back to where I am that was everything I'd kind of done over the last three days so let us jump right back into the adventure and continue the grind. So I have built like a little starter tower. It's a little square, ain't gonna lie. I'm probably going to change it in the future, definitely like remodel it, make sure it's better. And we also got visited and we got some totems. So let me just show you around the inside real fast. 
second floor, not much. I plan to throw some storage in here, which is some nice windows and all that fun stuff. Then we go up to our third floor, and we have our bedroom, our big windows, and all that fun stuff, and also where we can see our skelly farm. And then here's our top level, where we got a balcony, and which is going to be useful for taking and flying when we have an elytra. And then over here, we have bees. And so I can come along and harvest honey and get some more honey, which I think is going to be really nice. And then down here in this shulker, I have some important stuff. And as you guys probably just saw, the end opened up. And I got myself two elytra wings and a third. And that was super useful because now with this terrain, we can just go flying. Like, I can just go whee and totally not almost die. And actually, let us just get up here real fast to just get a nice view of the uh, local area. Random cow. Uh... Don't worry, there's water down there. He'll be fine. So, what's that? That's strange. So I've only built that. Is that a creeper on my roof? Or is that uh there? Huh? Let's. <laughs> Okie dokie. Um, I want to go over there and see what that is, but I'm kind of stuck. Let's see if I can get a running bounce. Oop, I'm not making it. Oh, I'm not making it. That's weird. Well, we get the chance. Let's. No, wrong option. Increase us a week. Ugh. I saw crafting tables. Is that like a monument to crafting tables? So like, look, you can see a crafting table there. Let's see if we can see anything from our roof. Yeah, you can't see anything from the roof. I want to get up there. Let me see if I have any more gunpowder. Let's go figure out this. Uh, this is strange. It's like in a, one of those old abandoned Greek temples. You know, the ones where like they have statues missi missing because the British took them. This is weird. I'm going to ponder this. But I think that's going to be where I leave, since I don't know what to do with this. This is not how I intended. Okay, well, see you all in a, another episode, and I hope you guys are enjoying Season 7. Wait, yeah, Season 7? Yeah, Season 7 of Ichthyology, and I hope you guys will enjoy the ride. Oh, that wasn't that far of a drop. Oh, that was. <laughs>